My goodness, we have a bunch more Dominics now. The third video for this channel that I posted last month sort of had a blow up. Well, at, at least a blow up compared to my average of 80 views on the other videos. And not only that, but quite a few of you left some really encouraging messages. Every single one of them completely surprised me. Honestly, it's like for some reason YouTube decided, you know what, Hayden? We're going to throw you a little bone for all the half-hearted work you've been doing. And thank goodness they did because the project that I started for this video is actually about all of you. Scrolling through the YouTube studio platform, I discovered something very interesting. If a subscriber has their subscription set to public, then I can actually see who they are. And out of the 32 of you that we have today, I can see nine of you. And I stalked you all to learn everything that I could about you. I needed to know that these nine could handle what was coming to them. In today's video, I'm putting these nine subscribers into an arena to face unlimited waves of zombies. And if you didn't notice, this is a brand new channel with only three videos. So if you're interested, please hit subscribe, the bell, and let's see if it's a channel with nothing can hit 100 zombie killers in 2022. I got started with that good old Unity white cylinder. Uh, no, I, I mean this one. The cornerstone of 3D video games, I think. I don't, I just made that up. Then I added a box and made it about a third of the height of the cylinder and colored it green because everyone knows zombies are green. And after spending a bit of time building the arena for the duel that would soon take place, I decided to give my little cylinder some more personality. Although from now on, we'll call the little cylinder a subscriber because this is the body for one of my nine subscriber zombie killers. After first trying to add a cool visor, I decided against it because I thought it might be just a little bit too obvious that I was completely ripping off one of Danny's videos from two years ago. So instead, I added these two balls that I admit were looking a little sus until I gave them two smaller balls, which made it a lot more obvious that they were just eyes. Now, I know that my subscribers hate dirty little green zombies, so of course, I made them very angry. The body just had to be red because, <laughs> you know. I gave the zombies a few cosmetic upgrades, and I swear, I'm not usually this obvious with my plagiarism. It's very important to hide your plagiarism with great care. And now the fun begins. I began with coating the zombie's brain, and at this stage of development, the zombies would just spin until a trigger was hit so that they were looking at the subscriber. And at that point, they had a target, and they would move towards and rotate towards that subscriber endlessly. Unfortunately, my little zombies looked a little too excited to be touching the subscribers, if you know what I mean. Testing this functionality was already a lot of fun, so I started to add in more zombies. And these subscribers are going to have to handle hordes of them soon, so it is important to see how this would work. I also wanted the zombies to be relentless in their pursuit of their target. I'm talking World War Z zombies, not none of that walking dead crap. So I quickly set up an obstacle for testing and gave the zombies the ability to vault over it. The zombies have a small range of collision detection, which gives them the ability to jump before they collide with the obstacles. Check out this view from the subscriber's perspective as a small horde comes flying over. Now comes the most important question to answer. How would the subscribers kill a horde? All I knew in my head is that I wanted it to be absolutely brutal. I mean, zombie limbs going flying kind of brutal. I experimented with a couple different methods, including a massive sword. The idea was that a subscriber would just spin in a circle to do a massive area damage to the zombies piling on them. But it just didn't feel right, and I also hated it, so as soon as I saw it, I scrapped the whole thing. Instead, I decided to go back to the roots of the gaming industry. What if the subscribers could jump in the air before shooting down to squash the zombies' heads under their bulb-shaped feet? I began implementing this ability using using Unity's built-in animation system. When a zombie is close enough, the subscriber jumps up and turns on its hitbox before smashing back to the ground, and that created some pretty interesting bugs that I couldn't figure out, so I ended up building the same functionality from the code instead of the animator. Honestly, for a while, it just looked like the zombies and subscribers became pretty good friends. But all that changed when I gave the zombies a limited amount of health and a ton of damage to the subscriber. Now, at this point, you may be thinking what I was thinking. It's simply not gruesome enough. Where's all the juicy blood? Unity's built-in particle system allowed me to add the perfect little bloody explosion on impact. And after that, I made a copy of the zombie, except this one had detached limbs. And when the zombie dies, it spawns in its body with forces applied to it, so the limbs go flying. Combining this up with the particle effect showed me just how juicy this duel is gonna be. And after giving the subscriber the ability to move toward their target, the first little test battle began. Thing is though, just giving my subscribers 50 times more health than the zombies was not enough of an advantage to me. 
So I began to build a health pickup for the subscribers to restore their health to 100%. And after making a small platform for the pickup, I hopped into Blender to flex my 3D modeling skills. And as a bonus for getting this far into the video, here's a time lapse of me modeling the health pickup. After I got it looking near perfect, I imported it into Unity and gave it a sweet four-dimensional spin animation and particle effect. The subscribers are coded to prioritize a health pickup if their health gets below 25%, and this ensures they won't grab them if they don't need it, which saves them for their teammates. I decided to add a visual slider which would allow all of us to see how much health each subscriber has. I also decided to color code the subscribers and their sliders so it's easier to see. And now I introduce to you your 9 subscribers and zombie killers for today's video. First up we have my wife, the most beautiful of my subscribers and a true zombie killer. Also I gave her 100 more health than everyone else so suck it. Unfortunate Witness X had a default profile pick, so I decked him out in the classic white default. Next up, Just Diaboa Bab had a Homer Simpson in his profile pick, so now he kind of looks like Homer. Revy also had a default profile pick, so he's now purple. If Eric's pick had that sweet black hat and also a saber in his hand, so I finally found a use for that amazing sword that I modeled earlier. Master's pick featured these super cool blue shades, and I think I did it justice. The Eggy Lades pick was also default, but my wife already had that color. So I found a video he had uploaded featuring this sweet red robot and I decided to keep it alive with his new look. Sarah's pick had a bumblebee in it so you already know what she looks like now. And I'll admit the hairy meatball was tough. I mean, is he a gorilla, a meatball, a bird? You know, I think somehow I meshed those all perfectly together. The subscribers were now ready. And I spent some time tweaking the mechanics and fixing the endless row of bugs but I knew I couldn't put off this battle any longer. The subscribers were ready to do what they were created for. I added a kill counter for each subscriber, improved the game camera with much needed post processing, and then it was time. I got ready for what I was about to see. I gave the troops their last pep talk, gave them just a little more health and damage, I kissed my wife, and pressed play. Here's what happened. And we are off. The zombie waves have begun spawning in. Everybody going for the kills together, staying as a pack. This is how they're going to survive the longest working as a team here today. We are early in this game, the zombie waves are starting to get a little bit bigger and everybody across the board seems to be picking up a pretty even amount of kills. I gotta say I am so proud of how well they are working as a team, it's really a beautiful thing here today. He has a new wave spawning in, Unfortunate Witness X seems to be in the lead, trailed very closely by quite a few other contestants. Master picks up the lead with 8. The zombie waves are getting quite a bit bigger though. You can see it's already grown to a size of maybe, I don't know, about 10 zombies spawning. The exponential graph of these wave sizes is going to really start to show very soon here. It seems a few picking up those health packs prematurely gonna hurt them in those later waves. But it seems like they are still handling it very well. Nobody's health is very low at all at this point. My wife trailing with the kills of 5. The Harry Meatball 7 in the lead at 17. Everybody else very, very close in kills. This is a close game here today, folks. Zombie waves getting quite a bit bigger very quickly, but everybody's still staying together. Doesn't seem to be very much separation. Just the Baba Boo takes two health backs, three. How selfish early in this match. Everybody gonna be looking to pick up health a little bit later. Currently in the lead is Just the Baba Ba. I guess he has justified those health pickups with the kills he's bringing the team. And my goodness seems to be jumping all around this map. Revy as well. Just untouchable by these zombies. Zombie wave is getting quite a bit bigger now. Just about a boot getting thrown around. Efair picks up a health back. Also seems to be trailing with the kills along with my wife. It's okay, she's way prettier. The zombie wave is getting much, much bigger. Master Justy Bada Boo pulling way ahead of the pack with 46 kills. Wife catching up though, Sarah Bauer with 57. One health pack on the map. This is not good, folks. The zombie packs are getting way bigger. They're all going to be needing health very soon here. Revy and just about a bit is falling in health pretty quickly at this point, along with Unfortunate Witness X. Zombie packs being much bigger. It helps that they are still working very well as a team. No separation here as the pack gets much bigger. And just about a boot and master keeping their strategy of jumping way out of range of these zombie hit hitboxes. I'm not gonna lie, folks, I am on the edge of my seat. It is getting a little bit concerning here today. 
Just the about a boost health is getting quite low. Master the Harry Meatball 7 is the lowest. They should be looking to pick up those health packs pretty soon. But Sarah Bauer is getting thrown into them by the zombies. There's none left on the map. There's not going to be enough for anybody. One spawns in the corner, the opposite corner. Just the Ababra Boo's health is flying down. He's got to be looking for that health pack soon. Or this could be a disaster. The Harry Meatball 7 is also low. Okay, just the Ababra Bay is going for that health pack now. But he could be stopped by these zombies. Let's see if he'll get it. And the he fair picks it up on accident. One spawns in. He gets it. He's still in this match. But this is not good, folks. The Harry Meatball 7 is also very low. Revy and my wife, the health are flying down. The Harry Meatball 7's health is low and... Is he gonna survive? Huh? Yes, the Harry Meatball 7 is dead. Revy's low. Unfortunate Witness X is low. And this next wave is going to be far bigger than the last. One new health pack spawning. This could be a disaster. They're all backed into the corner here together. They're fighting together. Unfortunate Witness X. Revy's health is flying down. My wife's health is flying down. Everybody's getting mauled. This could be a disaster. It looks like they're going to clean up this, this wave, but the next one is going to be far bigger than the last. And if there's not enough health packs, this could be terrible. Everybody going for the last health pack spawn. Who's going to get it? Revy's health is flying down. Everybody's health is flying down. He's backed into a corner with all these zombies. What's he? Oh, no! Oh, no! And the master just about to boo. The healths are flying down, taking on this pack by himself. He needs to get away. Somebody's got to help him. This is not going well. A new wave spawns in. Nobody's getting the health back. Just the above the boo. He's thrown into the corner. And no! He's gone! Sarah Bauer's flying down. They're getting more. Health back's flying down across the board. Unfortunate witness X thrown down. He's thrown into the corner and he, they're all piling on him. Nobody's helping him. He's thrown down. He jumps up trying to get away into the corner. Somebody's got to help him. No! The Eggy Lakes has the most healthy fair is getting low. My wife taking on this pack. She's got the most kills. Rescuing these other two that are low. The fair has to go for this health pack. He has to go. He's running. He's running. But this pack is huge. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. They're all fighting. They're all fighting. No, my wife. My wife. No, they're all dying. No, go in fair. Go in fair. He's got, there's too much left. There's too much left. Can he do it? Can he fight this entire war by himself? No.